Okay, let's see some popcorn. This vehicle is not Euro 6 compliant. If I had a beer for every stock engine part in this engine bay, I would have five beers. Because, I, as I was told, most of the parts that really do matter for the tuning potential have been swapped out for a more rigid, powerful ones. For example, the stock turbos, good for 265 horsepower, were replaced by uh, Porsche 996 ones. The stock intercooler was replaced by this custom item. The stock heads were replaced but with the naturally aspirated 2.4 V6. As usually in the Volkswagen Audi group, the naturally aspirated engines have better flowing uh, heads. Okay, here we got heat sink for the intake. The whole intake system is custom, as we can see. The ignition coils are replaced with the Audi R8. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is fuel pressure controller. Oh, here we got the stock item, I believe. Math sensor is stock. Okay. But the reason we're here today is because the two shy fellows that are sitting in the Audi, right here, they're equipped with some rather smart equipment and they're gonna be tuning this car. And the B5 Audi S4 uh, basically uh, exemplifies Audi's dedication to turbo engines. As you probably know, it's very hard to find one of these untouched by tun tuners because why would you? It's like having Riley Reed for wife and have, their w have her uh, walk dressed up around the house. You can't do that by why would you? In a minute we're gonna be hooking up the, the white bed uh, O2 sensor we're going to do some tests and do custom engine map. So let's proceed. The guys are fitting the wide band O2 sensor, DIY, DIY style, with duct tape. <laughs> something can be done with duct tape you're not using enough duct tape As it turned out during our last run, the engine is running a little bit too lean at 12.4. We're aiming at about 11.4 uh, or 11.8, which is perfect for this kind of boost at wide uh, open throttle. Okay, let's get to work. Okay, we're gonna pull out the ECU and modify the software, okay. Okay, we need to tear the engine, uh, the ECU case apart. 
hook it up to the laptop and transfer the file onto the chip. Is it right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's always the answer. <laughs> Okay, we've made some corrections, we're saving the file. This construction is basically the power supply for the ECU. Okay. As you can see, the file is being transferred over. we can see the progress via the red bar here's the voltage A few minutes later. Okay, we're reaching the end. Attenzione! It's a shout out to all our Italian viewers. Voila! Okay, let's put this bastard back together. Okay. Now we're gonna be testing the result. Let's see what the AFR is now. Okay, I think we can call it a day because it didn't go above 11.8. So it's basically what we were aiming for. Is that right? Yes. We need to disassemble the O2 sensor. It's kind of hot, so Piotr's wearing his special gloves. <laughs> <laughs>